Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at LEGO Horizon Adventures on the Steam Deck Steam OS. Let's see how it performs and everything. This game like made some noise when it first announced because it's like a Sony IP, the Horizon series, uh, but it's like a LEGO game. So it's also coming to the Nintendo Switch. So it was making the rounds. Let's see how it performs on the Steam Deck. Okay, so options, video, windowed full screen, unlimited frame rate, VSync off, quality preset. Let's set it to, let's set it to low first. Okay, TSR. Okay, there's no AMD FSR upscaling, no DLSS. Obvious. I think there's DLSS, but because we're on the Steam Deck, we can't toggle it on. Maybe I'll try a mod later, see if we can enable frame generation. Uh, and then it's, okay, so... Oh, so if it's low, it's 30%. Okay, let's see how it looks first on low quality. See how it looks and runs on the on the Steam Deck. We'll go through some of the presets and then if it's good, we'll just leave it. If it's not, maybe we'll try to In the far install future, a mod and no enable TVs, frame generation. No I don't think it's needed no for a Lego game, just right? Beautiful and totally not boring nature okay, so everywhere. Those on the giant robot dinosaurs, of course. Like cutscenes, we're getting over 100 FPS. Nobody knows where they Pretty good. From. Pretty convincing. Oh, what better way to start the day than with some nutritious healing berries? Okay, so well, the graphics looks pretty bad, but we're getting like 90 frames. So we, we like the Steam Deck's uh, the screen. Uh, if you're on the OLED, yeah, obviously 90. But on the on the OG LCD, we only got a 60 hertz frame, so we don't need 90 frames actually. Okay, let's go to medium preset. The 40 percent. It still looks really bad. I think it's because it's like the upscaling, like it's 40 percent. It's so blurry, but we're getting like 50. Never go healing chocolates. Fuck berries. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Okay, let's go to high. It still looks like bad the day is finally here like what? what do you say to a little training this was a big day for Aloy all right I think it's because the resolution scale so if we go hundred percent oh yeah that looks good of mother's heart first that looks good but look at the frame rate mother. And first time having her so we only got feelings. 18 on high if it's hundred percent yeah, maybe not hundred percent maybe maybe we're pushing a little bit but it's only a Lego game um maybe 80 percent still we don't get 30 percent we don't get 30 FPS 80 percent that's pretty bad pretty bad um medium then 100%. Wow. Medium settings with 100%. So no frame generation, no upscaling. 20s-ish. Games are really not optimized nowadays, I think. Like, yeah, it's just a Lego game, man. Maybe it's the lighting. Maybe it's Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so low. And then... 100%. Okay, I think low 100% is what you should be playing at. Yeah, I think I think that's where we're at right now. Low 100. So if you're not like going to install any mods, you plan to play this on the Steam Deck. 
And maybe this is the settings. Maybe you can tweak around with it a little bit. So I'm not really a fan of the Lego games. The one that I really enjoyed was Lego City Undercover. But that was the open world. That was like Grand Theft Auto, but you know, cartoon style, kitty style. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. And then I did play Lego Skywalker Saga. I think I played a few few chapters. Uh, I didn't complete it. My son did. Uh, I think I, I did play quite a few of them actually. The, the, the Star Wars one. Uh, but yeah, I, it's not. I don't really enjoy it. Okay, so so I know there's no AMD FSR, but I think there might be DLSS. So if we can enable a mod that like let us toggle DLSS in the game and then translate it to AMD FSR or XEXS and then we, we might be able to turn on frame generation so AMD FSR frame generation that might help the game so yeah I'll take you to my desktop mode and I'll, I'll try to install it I've got an easy way to install it right now so um, yeah see you back in desktop mode let me interrupt for a second. I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's video, instantgaming.com. If you're not familiar with them, make sure you check them out using my link below. They offer games at cheap prices, like big discounts. And they can do this because they get their game keys directly from the game developers. So it cuts out any middleman. So if you're interested in the game we're talking about today, Lego Horizon Adventures, it's currently on their website. Uh, the standard edition, 33% discount. So it's only 47 euros right now. This game just came out. And you can see the Digital Deluxe Edition also. 32% discount, 55 euros. It's the Steam version. And you know, it's just the same as buying it from Steam. Once you get it from them, you get the product code and you go to your Steam library, enter the code and the game goes into your library just like a normal Steam game would. So it's very, very convenient. Make sure you check them out, get yourself some savings. I am their official partner, so I do get a little kickback with no additional cost to you. So thank you Instant Gaming for sponsoring this video and let's get back to our tutorial. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. The first thing you need to do, locate the game folder. Okay, I've got mine right here in my games directory, Lego Horizon Adventures. And then inside you've got a folder, engine and glow. Let's go into glow and then binaries, Win64, and here you've got the Lego Horizon Adventures Win64 shipping.exe. So, you know, all Unreal Engine 5 like game structures are like this. So this is where we're going to put our mod files, okay? But I've got a new way to install this mod, okay? So it's easy, okay? What you need to do, go to this website or you can just go to my link in the description. This is the mod. It's created by Fake Michal, okay? It's using the DLSS enabler mod that I've always been you know sharing with you guys but you don't need to download anything just copy this okay i'll leave this command in my description so you don't even need to go here if you don't want to okay and then go into your start button all applications go to k k for console okay and then just paste it just paste it oh, did i mess up no i didn't Okay, so like I already done it, so that's why it's already existed. So I'm going to override. So yes. So you only actually need to do this once. So once you've downloaded and installed this, it's here. It's right here in your home directory deck FG mod. So if you go to your like dolphin home, and then here you've got the FG mod. So this is where it's like downloading all the stuff. Okay. So just let it download. It's going to be simple, quick and easy. You only have to do it once. Unless you want to like, maybe there's an update. Uh, you maybe want to override it. But once you've installed it once, and then uh, you can use it for any games that use the um, DirectX 12 and has native DLSS 2 or DLSS 3 support. You can just put the launch command and it'll automatically install it for your game. So it's actually really, really simple. That's why I like to use this method now. But obviously, the the if you use the manual method, the manual method is you go to the DLSS enabler GitHub page. It's actually using the same mod, but this is just helps you install it. So if you go here and install it manually, there is a benefit because it's using, this is the latest stable release that we're using right now. 
but th there's actually more releases. So there, there, there's older releases, there's new beta releases, so pre-release that has new functions. You might want to try that out if you want to install it manually. But you know, if you just want to get up and running, this might be the easiest way. Okay, it is uh, downloading a little bit slow, but don't worry, we'll do it together. Almost there. Okay, so it's done, basically. Okay, so once you've done for Steam, okay, our game's on Steam, you just copy this to the launch options. So copy this, copy, and for Heroic, you need to add this to the new wrapper. Pretty much the same, same process. Okay, so what we need to do is we go to our game in Steam, and then here, properties, paste, okay, paste this command, and run it. And that's it. And like, if you want to install this onto another game, just paste that command onto another game. That, uh, that the game, not all game works, it needs to support the uh, DirectX 12, and it needs to have DLSS 2 or DLSS 3 native support, okay? Let's see if it works. If it works, we go back into um, go back into okay, options video. Oh yeah, see see we've got DLA and DLSS to that's great. That's excellent. DLA frame generation on. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's go. Let's we know it works. So let's go back to um, gaming mode. So we know like the FPS, we have the FPS counter. So once you've got this installed, you can see in our game directory, the Win64, see it populated a lot of the mod files. And if you want to uninstall it, it's very simple. If you want to uninstall it, you can just, uh, where is it? There's a file called, can't find it. Okay, stop by. Okay, here, fgmod uninstaller.sh, just execute this and it'll delete all the mod files, okay? But make sure you also delete the launch command. But since we've already installed the mod, we, we don't need the launch command anymore, okay? So I'll show you that in action. Go back to gaming mode. Okay, so like I said, see here, there's no launch options. We've already installed the mod and then you can just remove the launch option. So it's different from manually installing it. After we manually installed it, we had to do the wine DLL overrides. We had to keep that launch options command. For this one, just install it, put the launch command, and then once it's installed all the mod files, that's it. You can just remove it. And if you need to uninstall, like I said, go back into the game folder and run that uninstaller sh file okay it does feel a little bit different the frame time is is up there okay let's double check the video Quality preset load, yeah, DLAA. Okay, so we've got DLAA and we've got frame generation on. Let's try this first. And maybe we can do DLSS quality if it's not running too well. But we're on low settings, so it should be fine. In the far future, okay, so you can see the frame time no is a little bit higher no without, uh, with the mod on. Just beautiful and totally not but yeah, so everywhere. now it's 6070 no, at the... Okay, oh, so a better way to start the day than with some It is better, like we Okay, so DLAA But this 100%. Like the graphics looks way better because before remember when we were on low settings, we were like 30%. That was really blurry. Okay. I think we can go uh, let's do medium settings and then DLLA frame generation.
Eat berries to recover health. Okay. How come these bushes never grow healing chocolates? The day is finally here. Like, right here. This was a big day for a... Maybe we should use the FSR upscaling a little bit. The DLSS... DLSS... Why does it say... You see that? It said English? <laughs> yeah, that was... Is it because... Oh, because then... Oh, that's really weird. See that? And then when we go, when we go DLSS, this kind of changes. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, quality. Frame generation on medium. First time seeing the oh, village it doesn't, of it looks heart. a little bit blurry. First I don't think we should. Tirsa, it does still look mother. blurry. And first time having her thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I think the LAA is the way to go. The LAA. Frame generation on. Turn it off. See what happens. Do we get? If we turn it off, no frame generation. We're only getting like twenty, mid twenties. Not good. We need frame generation. Frame generation. Medium settings. Yeah, maybe I will just keep it like this. I think this is the best. Maybe high. Let's see if we get a big drop with high settings. Yeah, I don't think we should go with high. Low. Frame generation on. This feels a lot better. Yeah, it's just the handheld. You're not gonna use high settings. So low settings with DLAA, so 100% no no like 100% no upscaling. Just using DLSS anti-aliasing. And frame generation on. It's a lot better. But we're almost 60, not 60, 50 ish. But yeah, a lot better. So yeah, this, this mod definitely improves this game. If you're planning to play this game, make sure you get this mod, it's totally free. And let me know in the comment section if you have any issues. Okay, if you don't have any issues, you can also just leave a nice comment and we can engage in a little conversation. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.